Hi, my name is Chuck Leemaster with Team Faith Racing, and welcome to this edition of Team Faith Thursday on OffRoadViking.com. Today we're going to take a look at an interesting character in the Old Testament. He's the strongest man who ever lived. Matter of fact, when he was born, uh, God told his parents that, hey, Samson is going to be um, used for a specific purpose by me. And in GNCC, I get to be the chaplain on the series. We've been going through a series called uh, On Purpose, For Purpose. You were created on purpose, for a purpose. Samson, that was very, very true, because God said, I'm going to use Samson in a mighty way. He's going to be the strongest man who's ever lived. The trick is, I want him to be dedicated to me, and as a visible outward sign of his dedication to me, you must never cut his hair. And, uh, and so things were going for Samson, and he just totally did not live into God's purpose for his life. And yet, God used him anyway. Samson did just about everything that was evil, and yet God said, hey, this is my guy. I'm going to use him despite himself, and uh, he's going to be my guy that defeats Philistines. And so Samson's going along life, doing it his way. God continues to use him. His hair gets really long, and he meets a woman named Delilah. And apparently Delilah was really hot. Because Samson would just fell for her head over heels, and um, and and some some Philistine men, the enemy, came to Delilah and said, "Hey, we know that Samson's your guy, so we'll give you a bunch of money if you'll tell us a secret to his strength." And so Delilah comes to him and says, "Hey, Samson, what's your secret?" And he lies to her. He's like, "Ah, if you tie me up with a brand new bowstring that's never been on a bow before, then I'll I'll be weak as anybody else." So he goes to sleep. She does just that to him. The enemy comes in. Samson snaps his bowstrings, pounds the snot out of him, and. Delilah's all upset, and you lied to me. Uh, of course he lied to you, woman, but uh, he goes on, he tells her another lie, and another lie, and finally, the Bible says this, so day after day she nagged him until he couldn't stand it any longer. Finally, Samson told her his secret. He said, my hair's never been cut, he confessed, for I was dedicated to God as a Nazarite from birth. If my head were shaved, my strength would leave me, I would become as weak as anyone else. And so that's exactly what happened to him. And all through, my growing up, ever since I've heard this story, Samson, why did you tell her the secret to your strength? Day after day, she nagged him. And, and I'm not going to make any bones about it. I'm not going to make up some deep spiritual thing here. Guys, we will do anything for a hot girl, will we not? I mean, just about anything for a hot woman. Girls, I see you do stupid things all the time in the name of a cute boy. I'm going to leave a lesson at that. It will bring you down. If you're living outside of God's purpose for your life and you're finding your meaning and your significance in someone else of the opposite sex, that's not God's best for you. And instead of doing the stupid things for someone else, start living into the relationship for which was so important that God sent His own Son to this earth to die for us. Till next time, I'm Chuck Leemaster.